Indian coffee is like a warm hug from the hills. It's flavorful and rich just like our culture. With every sip, it tells us stories of tradition and brings a smile to your face. Hey there coffee lovers, I've got some exciting news to share with you today. You know that feeling when you have the first sip of your favorite brew and it's like a very warm hug on your taste buds? Well, imagine that feeling multiplied by a hundred times because Indian filter coffee just claimed the second position in the prestigious top 38 coffees in the world. Yes, you heard me right. This isn't just any coffee. It's a rich blend of finely ground coffee beans and chicory, brewed to perfection through a very unique filtration process. It's like a symphony of flavors dancing on your palate, leaving you craving for more. And let me tell you, it's not just about the flavor, it's about its journey. Let me take you back to the 1600s when an Indian Sufi saint known as Baba Budan embarked on a pilgrimage to Mecca. During his journey back, he made a stop at Mocha, a bustling port city on the Red Sea coast of Yemen. Renowned for its role in the early coffee trade and the birthplace of famous Mocha beans. Baba Budan, amidst the bustling streets of Mocha, was served a dark aromatic drink, coffee. The taste was so divine that he couldn't resist the urge to introduce it to his homeland. However, the Arabs guarding their precious commodity closely exported coffee only in roasted or baked form to maintain their monopoly. Baba Budan, undeterred by the challenge, remained determined to bring back the magic of coffee to India. His resolve and passion of this newfound magical drink would eventually pave the way for a revolution in the world of coffee in India. How did he do it? Well, there are different versions. Some say he hid the seeds in his beard, others say he strapped them to his chest and some say that he put them in his clothes. But no matter which story you believe, one thing is very clear. Baba Budan successfully brought seven coffee seeds to India. When he got back to his home in the western ghats of Karnataka, he planted these seeds in his backyard. And guess what? Those seeds grew into the first coffee plants in India, starting a tradition that has lasted for centuries. In the 18th century, British entrepreneurs began managing coffee plantations in southern India, transforming forests into profitable commercial farms solely for coffee. By the 1800s, coffee had become a major export crop, shipping to Europe in significant quantities through London. Today, coffee is beloved across India and enjoyed by people of all ages and backgrounds. India has emerged as a leading producer, consumer and exporter of coffee beans worldwide. In India, different regions have their unique preferences for drinking coffee. For instance, in southern India, filtered coffee with milk and sugar is a popular choice. Moreover, there is a variety of ways to enjoy coffee, from adding milk and sugar to drinking it black or with a hint of cream or honey. Some even spice up their coffee with ingredients like cardamom or ginger for a flavorful twist. And that wraps up our journey through the wonderful world of coffee in India. From the sneaky beginnings of bringing those first precious coffee seeds to our shores, to the vast plantations dotting our southern landscape, coffee has become more than just a drink for us. It's a part of who we are. Today, you'll find coffee being enjoyed everywhere from the bustling streets of our cities to the quiet corners of our homes. It's not just a beverage, it's a warm hug in a cup that brings us together, whether we are catching up with friends or starting our day with a boost of energy. So, let's take a moment to appreciate all the hard work put in by the farmers who nurture those coffee plants day in and day out. Without them, we wouldn't have those delicious beans to brew our favorite drink. So here's to coffee, the unsung hero of our mornings and the companion of our conversations. May it continue to fuel our days and bring us joy for years to come. Cheers to the wonderful world of coffee in India. Finding this story interesting? Then stay tuned with the Cognizant Crow for more such videos and never let your curiosity die.